America. Yeah. T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Battle Across Time Collection with Sideswipe and Maximal Skywarp. But anyway, let's let you see this. They actually shipped mine in the actual shipper if anybody's actually interested in that. That's what it looks like. They gave out this completely 100% cardboard box with no window at all. And everything on the inside, cardboard and paper straps. Over here we see Scorponok and some pterodactyls and whatnot. Got this on the back. We got this. And the cool thing about this being a battle across time is this guy wasn't even in Beast Wars per se, Skywarp. He was in the Japanese version of the Beast Wars. So there you go with that. If he would have been named Prowl, this would have been the Beast Wars version. How I did my thumbnail and opener, this tip right there is the size of a stand port. I put that here and Skywarp has a stand port hole right there. So plug that in there, plug this there, and now it you can fly with side swipe. The problem is this. This fits into here loosely, and this isn't the recommended spot, by the way. But it's just a coincidence that they can stick there. I noticed that on the red alert figure from Siege. And, but when you put these two components, or this component, on there, it, it kind of is too close of a fit. So, but what you're supposed to do is post this here. Or in the little side ports over here. So there's that option. Like we can even attach this right here. So there you are. And we can actually elongate this gun. Which since Sideswipe never came with this gun. And Red Alert didn't come with this part. And I, it never came to me that. You can give him a bigger cannon or whatnot by doing that. Or we could take this off because it's three components. And yes, this is red plastic painted white for some reason. And these two are black plastic painted white. All of his paint budget went into the guns. Unlike the original side swipe from Siege, this thing is not painted. Like, only thing painted is this because this is all transparent plastic. And this part of the bumper, yeah, this part of the bumper is plastic unless that's a separate piece. No, it, it's paint. I see it wearing corpse blast back there. None of this is painted. And as a result, I think when they made this type of mold, the paint was what was making the joints tight. Because it doesn't have all that paint in the joints, it's not as tight, and that's going to be a complaint that I get into later. This is what it looks like at the bottom, and you, you've been seeing me spin it around. Here's the direct comparison with Sunstreaker, who was given an Earth mode, mode first. You can see that they only painted mostly the front, but they painted more of the top on side swipe. Here's that. You didn't get this detail right there like at all that's that's weird like this is a major thing right that I made him like an 80s Lamborghini but everything else besides that detail is pretty much matching and he doesn't have the holes back there for a spoiler if an optional spoiler and here's spin out they are two different shades of red. I don't know if you can really tell. This one is more tomatoey red. Well, this, I guess, will be cherry. And you can see they didn't paint the vents on here like they did on this guy. And the rims are different. This actually has the same rims as 
Sunstreaker, I'm not going to bring him back out. But there you are. There you are. If you want to put this on here, that's what it's going to look like. Or we could turn it this way. If you want that look. <laughs> and now let's get into Skywarp. Skywarp is an exact clone of Air Razor except the robot mode head. So everything else is the same. They went ahead and painted the little birdie toes. They made this look, made this white and did that eye. It's like the exact same head. It's just they painted the eyes different. And you see the mouth on Air Razor shut? Yes. You can close that. It's hard to get into. And because this has all that paint, like I was complaining that Sideswipe doesn't, getting that mouth to open is way more difficult. But here you are. Here's what the back of it looks like. I like to put the legs up here. I don't know. Like I said with Air Razor, this is the most cohesive bird. Like normally when I have anything that resembles like a bird transformer, I feel like it's a robot with bird wings. But this, the way the legs come together, I actually like that and it makes it more bird-like. And the arms just pretty much disappear up in there. These wings are crazy posable. So many joints. One, two, three, four. And then you have this that flips out and folds back. So that's great. We have two more points of articulation. The head can tilt. It can completely rotate 360 and bend right there. And let's get into the legs because they can actually come forward, come back bend here and then the feet are on a ball joint so they can rotate fully and go up and down a bit I would have liked it if the claws could bend that would have been cool I guess if this was a Voyager class but you can get the feet completely forward like this and just like a, an attack or grab mode so that's cool then yeah, I showed off the stand port. You have the missiles right here. You can point to whatever direction. Don't look at it too hard or you start realizing that these are robot legs. But yeah, here's Air Razor to boost your memory. And I'm not doing transformations. I've transformed Sideswipe forwards and backwards in his review. And I did the same for Air Razor. So... T-Man978, all one word, show review, Air Razor, Kingdom, and Sideswipe, Siege. And you'll be able to see my transformations. Here are these fillers in robot mode. There you go. There you are. Now, in Japan, Skywarp was a completely different mold from Air Razor. Let me just put up some pictures of that. Like... Here is the ro robot mode, and here's the beast mode, and it was a part of a combiner set called Magnaboss. I'm not sure if that's the actual Japanese name. I didn't look up these pictures yet. I'm, t <laughs> I'm talking, and I'm going to go Google that stuff later. Let's do him last. Here's Sideswipe. Sideswipe is highly more G1 accurate, and finally he comes with his shoulder cannon, which is actually two separate parts, like I showed earlier, and his gun at the same time. And they are white, mimicking what it looked like in the cartoon, because the toy was mostly silver. All the silver was painted white in the cartoon. But the feet are fully painted. This stuff right there is painted. Of course, that white there and there. The face... And like I said, the guns are completely painted. And everything on this backpack except these full side doors is painted. Even on the inside of his body. I can't show that off. But, like I said, my one main problem with this thing is this. These knees are not 
not tight at all, probably due to the lack of paint. I mean, I can get it standing up, thankfully, but they are limp. And here's another thing. Because of the mold change, his knee only bends that much now. It doesn't bend completely 90 degrees. If you bend it more, it pushes out the shin guard. And you can't shut it without pushing them back into that position. So just know that. My main, I wanted this guy because I wanted him to have the same Earth Alt mode as Sunstreaker. Because Sunstreaker didn't get a Siege version. If he did get a Siege version, I probably wouldn't have went with the Earth style. But I wanted them both to have vehicle modes that, or modes that matched. Of course, they look different. This was always the case in robot mode, but they are the exact same height. And my only problem with both of them is they look super duper blocky. <laughs> One thing I wish could happen is I wish all these side panels right there hid better or compacted up better, better to give him a real waistline. This is the problem I have with even the masterpiece version of this. But if it had that, I mean, this white stands out more than this right here. So you can like look at him without seeing it, but I still see it. And definitely from the back, there's no avoiding it at all. Articulation, the head is on a ball joint. The ball joint goes down into the body. So you get all that. And of course it can rotate. This doesn't have any hinges or joints, but you can try to wiggle it to be pointed up or something like that. If you want it up, you can plug it, plug it, plug it like that, but it's not sturdy. It has that peg, so you can't put it into his forearm, pretend it's a drill and whatnot. The arm goes out that far, rotates, bicep swivel, 90 degree bend right there, and it doesn't cover the complete bicep. No swivel right there, but you do get this. You get a mid crotch swivel, always hate that. All the way back, all the way forward, all the way out. You saw the knee bend, and it does have ankle pivot. And if it didn't have this shin, his foot could go up, but it has the shin. It only goes up a little bit. So there you are with his articulation. Let's get in Skywarp. Here is Skywarp's face. Up close. Let me bring the light. Yeah, there we go. So, it looks like a barbarian or something. Because of the way they sculpt it his head he can actually look up a lot for flying poses i love it air razor was like that as well but let's let you just see the body these wings are optional they put a lot of effort and work into the wings i'm not used to them going all out on a deluxe class like this so i think that's really really cool oh so even though they're compact they're designed to peg in like this you could, if you want, just have the wings doing whatever for whatever pose you want. But you saw the neck, the shoulders go up until they hit the wings. So joints are really tight. That might be a problem because that shoulder guard might come down and stay down. Bicep swivel. The bicep does this. The wrists don't do really anything. They go up. These, of course, can come out of the forearm and be into the hand if you like you got this you got this you got this bumps into the tail swivel right here tight bends way more than 90 degrees you still have this but you have about that much of ankle pivot which isn't a lot in the ankle swivel if you detach stuff i'm trying to see can i fake and ab crunch you can fake an ab crunch a little bit and this crotch skirt does rise i guess you're supposed to do that but you don't have to do that do that you saw me kick the legs up let me get all this back together here is air razor this is closely resembling her color scheme but i think the color scheme comes together right here because these are more realistic animal colors instead of this bright orange and gold their faces are completely 
different as you can see. But everything else is the same. Let's show you from the back. And do you still have access? You kind of have access. You got to pull this tail out to have access to a stand port back there. So, yeah. This is an odd pairing, to be sure. Completely odd, especially with them giving him the Japanese version of the name. Just like with that Star Saber or Victory Saber that they're coming out with during the HasLab, I was thinking that they were worried that people wouldn't want obscure characters, so they decided to sell. And they were probably like, who wants another side swipe? So they just put both of them together for the people who want it an obscure Japanese character and for the people that want it sideswipe. And here's something I didn't notice. I'm not I don't think the Siege version has this, but he has these little nubs right there. That was actually present on the actual G1 toy. So that's cool. But yeah. I like the set. I wish the knees were better on this. I like that it came with the guns. I wish that it had more paint, but it's not a problem because this plastic and that paint match in car mode for the most part. I like, I can't, it's not a real big difference. And I actually like this more in person than I thought I was going to like it. Like I originally didn't care about this, but I do like his bird mode, the color scheme coming together better than Air Razor. So there's that. I like it. I'm going to put a link in the description for Amazon. I don't know if it's still available, but keep checking that link. And I can't remember if this set was $39.99 or $49.99. But no, I think it was $45.99 or $44.99, something like that. Don't pay way over $50 for this. <laughs> Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching. The Japanese version of the name. <laughs> but, figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the and videos, baby, click, click the videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those and videos, baby, click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the